We've just watched Newcastle Reserves take on West Brom today at Whitley Park and uh, three senior players involved today. Obviously, um, Lazar playing his first 90 minutes uh, for quite a while. Um, throw in the fact that Dara also got a good 90 minutes under his belt and Daryl Murphy, 45, it was a pretty impressive afternoon. Um, Rafa Benitez was in the stands watching. Uh, keep it nice and dry obviously and um, you know it was just a good positive day really for the reserve team I mean Lazar looked very good on the ball uh, very skillful player someone who hopefully is uh, gonna you know do great things for Newcastle's first team I think when you look at um, you know the options on the left Gufran's played most of the season uh, Atsu's had a few stints out there and I think Lazar could possibly give more as a as another option on the on that left hand side. He started the first half on the left wing, played left back in the second half, maybe uh, just to have a bit of a breather. Uh, but he looked good, you know. He, when he was on the ball, he caused problems. I think at one point, one of the West Brom defenders ended up on on his backside uh, with, with some of his uh, skills. Very skillful player, lots of step overs. Uh, someone who looks like he's going to get. Um, you know the fans off the off the seats. Um, you know, as far as Murphy's concerned, he was, you know, playing his first forty-five minutes for a couple of months. Uh, got on the score sheet just before half time. Nice flicked header. Had a couple of other chances as well. And you know, again, he's going to offer another option for for Rafa going forward. Obviously, Mitrovic and Gale are fighting over that shirt at the minute. Nice healthy competition going on. But uh, you can't you can't have enough strikers, um, really goal scorers in your team. And you know Murphy has a lot of experience in the championship. Spoke to him after the game, um, said he was ready uh, to to play some part in it. You know he's he's been a little bit frustrated with the way things have gone for him, and um, now is a chance maybe to to um, you know really just seize his chance. Whether he gets that against Blackburn at the weekend, part of me thinks the whole game was the reason Rafa was watching today to see, you know, if they're going to be, the, the two, Lazar and Murphy, are going to be involved um, at the KC Stadium. As for Hadara, you know, let's not forget him. This is a player who's had a lot of injury problems down the years. You know, he's still quite a young lad, still wants to be at the club. You know, didn't throw the towel in after relegation. Uh, again, looked good. You know, picked up a yellow card, so... He's clearly got no sort of demons in him about you know being tackled or anything like that. He, he gives as good as he gets. Uh, had a couple of chances when he went forward in the second half. You know he was more or less playing as a left winger, uh, forced to keep on a good save and um, hit the bar with a sort of cross come shot. So you know he was he was always involved. Um, you know other sort of talking points really. I mean the the youngsters they, they couldn't hold on to the lead. They conceded a penalty late on and uh, West Brom went away with a point which was probably a little bit lucky as far as they're concerned um, but really I think more positives from the youngsters point of view Sean Longstaff again catching the eye, uh, hit the post in both halves um, always involved always looking like he can get opportunities and looking very promising and I think uh, Peter Beardsley will probably be happy with the performance of his team overall and uh, you know they've, they've got games coming up now and it, it's just a chance to impress so overall I think it's been a very positive day for Newcastle uh, away from the championship of course and um, you know they can knuckle down now start preparing for Blackburn but knowing that there's uh, more options in the in the pipeline.